But let's get into this week in Shohei Otani news, and I want to start with his second half of the season because it wasn't the fastest start. It wasn't what we were what we were used to with Shohei Otani. He got off to a little bit of a slower start, and I heard you guys, but he went 0 for 11 with seven strikeouts. You know what he's done, and I'm here to tell you why this hasn't been a struggle. His average from where he was at the All-Star break has dropped one point. One point. Now, I get it. He wasn't showing the power numbers that we were all used to right away, but you know what he was doing? He was beating out infield singles and getting doubles, hitting laser beam doubles in the gap, and that is what makes Shohei Otani different. That's what makes him different. He has the ability, when he's not hitting balls over the fence, to beat out singles. And that's what makes him special. Not only does he hit balls 500 feet, he's really, really fast. So he wasn't struggling, guys. He really wasn't. And then we get to Sunday. We get to Sunday, and Shohei Otani hits his 35th home run of the year. And it got me to thinking, 35 home runs to this point in the year is a lot. It got me to thinking, who else has done that? And you know what it turned up? Shohei Otani is the sixth player since 2000 to have 35 or more home runs. And guess who is on this list? This list is special. It's Shohei Otani now, Albert Pujols, Barry Bonds, Christian Yelich, Chris Davis when he was having that year that was the most ridiculously incredible year of all time, and Luis Gonzalez. Barry Bonds is on this list twice. One year he had 45, which is just (laughs) comical. And then he had 35 another year. So Shohei Otani is the sixth player since 2000 to have 35-plus home runs in his team's first 98 games. That's special, man. Not to mention... Not to mention he's doing all this while not playing near as many games as them because for a while when he was pitching, he wasn't hitting. So he has less ABs and he's doing this. Just incredible. While he's also pitching. Wow. And speaking of his pitching, let's talk about the outing he had this past week. I heard the noise when he had that blow-up start in New York against the Yankees. Oh, he should stop pitching. He should just be hitting. Wrong. Let's talk about his outings since against the Red Sox and then this this most recent start against the Oakland A's. Dominant, guys. Absolutely dominant starts on the mound. Throws six innings, doesn't give up a run, punches out nine guys. His splitter is back. He's throwing 100. It's just incredible what he's out there on the mound doing. He did the same thing against the Red Sox. These lineups are great. The Boston Red Sox lineup, who's leading the AL East. The Oakland A's, who are in second place in the AL West, are a really good team. And he's going out there and just dominating. In his first start back from the All-Star game, he dominates. Look, you, you, you guys saw what he did in the All-Star game. He went out there and he hit 100. He went out there and he hit 100 in the All-Star game. So look, those first few games out of the All-Star break, We didn't get what we had seen all in the first half from Shohei Otani, but you know what? That's okay, because I wouldn't consider him struggling. His average didn't drop at all. His batting average didn't drop. But you know what he did in the All-Star game that makes this start to the second half even more impressive? He participated in the home run derby. He was the starting pitcher for the American League, and he led off for the American League. And he actually talked about it in the press conference before the game. He said, I know this is a lot. This is a lot to do, but I want to do it. I want to do it for Japan. I want to make them proud. I want to do it for the entertainment of the game. And it was so entertaining. But it is tiring. It is tiring. And he comes out of the second half a little slower than we were all used to, but still getting his hits. And then Sunday, he hits a bomb that you can't tell me was any less than 600 feet. An absolute bomb. His first start back. He has an incredible outing. He, the team didn't end up winning, but he didn't get the loss because he didn't give up a run. It's hard to get the loss when you don't give up a run. Fun fact, you can't get the loss if you don't give up a run. So he had a dominant outing, uh, and then he hits the bomb on Sunday. That puts him in elite, 
territory. I mean, I mean elite territory. Look at these names. Barry Bonds, Luis Gonzalez, Christian Yelich. Are you kidding me? These names are elite. And he is now on that list, the sixth player since 2000 to be on that list. Absolutely incredible. So let's talk about the giveaway. I didn't forget. We've been doing a giveaway since I went to the Angels game on bobblehead night, and I got myself this Shohei Otani bobblehead, and I wanted to give it away to you guys. I wanted to give back to you guys. I know how much a lot of you guys also love Shohei Otani because I love Shohei Otani so much, and I wanted to give back. I wanted to give this away, and we did pick ourselves a winner, and it is going to Kim Tom Mama, and he is actually in Japan. So I'm really excited about this. Kim Tom Mama wins the giveaway. We will be shipping this to Tokyo. This bad boy is going over to Japan. Look, I'm so excited about this. He entered the giveaway. And one thing that I noted from, uh, from his selection, we, we randomly picked the name, he wins. And then I went and saw his tweet and he said, I love this show. I love Shohei Otani, and I'm learning English from watching this show. How cool is that? I feel so awesome about sending this away uh, and giving this back to you guys who are also becoming equally as big a Shohei Otani fans as I am because you can't be more of a fan. You just can't. It's not possible. Uh, so this is going out to Tokyo. Thank all of you guys that participated in the giveaway and voted five stars on the, uh, on the podcast app. And make sure you're still checking it out and voting five stars because we will be doing more and more giveaways like this. But that does it for this week in Shohei Otani news. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.